Hello everyone and welcome to my NFL Week 10 Power Week 11 Power Rankings. Uh oof. Last week was an interesting week. And well, again, as I'm saying, teams are really starting to fall into place now. In fact, there were a lot of teams that didn't even move. 11 out of the 32 teams didn't even move a single spot. 11 out of 32. Okay. Teams are starting to find their place and a lot of teams are staying there. Uh, there's a lot of movements that are just, you know, one up or one down. There's almost no multi-movement anymore. I think two teams moved up multiple spots. It, it was, it, it's been pretty good so far. Now, the rules, I look at the combined score of their offense and defense from lowest to highest. That's tied, or there's three more tied point difference for, uh, from worst to best uh, point difference to the worst sorry from best to worst if tied look at the win loss record if that's tied look at win streak if that's tied look at head to head if that side look at schedule difficulty in if it's still tied do a coin toss now Miami Dolphins okay they have scored 119 points that's 31st in the NFL they have allowed 268 points 29th in the NFL negative 149 point differential a 2-7 record and 60 points the miami dolphins are about to move up in the power rankings i'm not sure how much longer they're gonna stay in that bottom spot but that's how bad a lot of their losses have been so far but 31 plus 29 60 still the worst team as of right now but from the way where things are heading they're probably not gonna be the worst team by the end of the season now, 31st, the team that's probably going to take their place pretty soon, the Cincinnati Bengals. They have scored 137 points, 29th in the NFL, and they have allowed 210 points, tied for 27th in the NFL. With a negative 122 point differential, they are the last winless team, 0-9, with 56 points. They are so close to being the worst team in the NFL. The New York Jets the uh, second of the 11 teams to not move they are still at 30 uh, they have scored 130 points 30th in the NFL they've allowed 238 points 23rd in the NFL that's a 108 point differential negative uh, a 2 7 record with 53 points uh, Sam Darnold the Jets are, have just not been a good team this year Washington Redskins moved up a spot or two uh, I think it was two spots. The Bengals moved down two and the Redskins moved up two. They kind of switched. Now, the they have scored 108 points. The worst offense in the NFL right now. But they've only allowed 219 points. The 19th ranked defense. Right now, all their losses seem to be on their offense, mostly. They have the worst scoring offense in the entire NFL right now. Negative 111 point differential, a 1 8 record, and 51 point tie. Uh, New York Giants, they have scored 203 points, tied for 19th in the NFL. But here's the thing they have the worst defense in the NFL right now. They have allowed 209 points, negative 86 point differential, a 2 8 record, 51 point tie. They're, right now, their losses mostly stack up against the defense. The Atlanta Falcons, bad offense and bad defense, really. They have scored 191 points, 23rd in the NFL, and they've allowed 259 points, 20, tied for 27th in the NFL. And they get to move up to 27, uh, to 27 spot with their 50 points, negative 68 point differential, and 2-7 record. Cleveland Browns, not, the next team that hasn't moved the spot, they're still at 26. Uh, they have scored 171 points, 26th in the NFL. They've allowed 221 points, 20th in the NFL, negative 50 point differential on the 3-6 record, 46 points. The Cleveland Browns just have been really inconsistent this year. The Arizona Cardinals, 25th in the NFL still. They have scored 222 points, 14th in the NFL. They've allowed 281 points, 31st in the NFL. That's a negative 59 point differential, a 3-6-1 record, 45 points. The Oakland Raiders are 
24th still. Uh, they have scored 208 points, 16th in the NFL. They've allowed 240 points, 25th in the NFL. A negative 32 point differential of 5 4 record and 41 points. The Detroit Lions, they're still sitting at 23rd. They have scored 217 points, 15th in the NFL, and they've allowed 237 points, 22nd in the NFL. That's a negative 20 point differential with a 3 5 1 record and 37 points. The Tampa Bay Buccaneers, they have the sixth best offense. They have a really good offense right now scoring 260 points but they also have a really bad defense allowing 279 points 30th in the nfl okay so buccaneers right now their losses are stacked mostly up against the defense negative 19 point differential a 3-6 record 36 points the indianapolis colts they are 21st in the nfl in offense with a scoring 134 points and they have our 14th in the NFL with defense, allowing 130, 193 points. So their losses are mostly on the offense, which makes sense considering they did lose Andrew Luck, but they've been competent for most of the year, except for last week when they lost to the Dolphins, who are trying to lose. That's a plus one point differential, a 5 4 record, and a 35 point tie. Okay, when you lose to a team that's trying to lose, that shows. I'm sorry, Colts. You are just not a very good team right as of right now. Um, you're probably going to end up being lower unless you somehow turn it around immediately. Tennessee Titans. They are tied for 19th when it comes to offense. 203 points scored. And they are 16th in defense under 97 points allowed. That's a plus six point differential on a 5 5 record, 35 point tie. The Jacksonville Jaguars, their losses have been on their offense. And well, they're getting their, uh, they're getting Nick Foles back, so I expect them to move up in power rankings because this is his part of the year. This is when he usually shines the most. Not only that, but yeah, now they're, they got to, good quarterback not just a good quarterback but a reliable quarterback to back up that top 10 defense they have so far they've scored 176 points 24th in the NFL and they've allowed 189 points <coughs> oh wow tied for 10th in the NFL with a negative 13 point differential on the th 4 or 5 record they got 34 points right now did it for Broncos also moved up they moved up to 18 they have scored under 49 points 28th in the NFL and they've allowed 170 points tied for fifth in the NFL negative 21 point official 3-6 record 33 point tie um top five defense with a 3-6 record that's definitely on the offense Uh, 17 points uh, not 17 falling out to 17th is the Carolina Panthers they have scored 225 points 12th in the NFL they've allowed 228 points 21st in the NFL negative 3 point difference on a 5-4 record 33 point tie right now the problem with the big problem the Panthers are the def is the defense now uh, the Panthers ring 17 yeah they've been doing really good without uh, Cam Newton I don't know where the team's gonna head. This is kind of a difficult spot. Route 66, we're at the midway point. Moving on to 16th, the Los Angeles Chargers. They have scored 207 points, 17th in the NFL. They've allowed 194 points, 15th in the NFL, plus 13 point differential, a 4 6 record with 32 points. The Chicago Bears. They have scored 162 points, 27th in the NFL. They have allowed 157 points, fourth in the NFL, plus five point differential, four or five record, 31 point tie. Yeah, when you have the fourth ranked defense and you are, but you have a four or five record, well, I mean, clearly the offense is what needs work. 
uh, but and obviously no one's gonna argue with me on that one. Everyone knows it's the defense that's good and the offense that needs work when it comes to the Bears. The Philadelphia Eagles, you get they're ranked 14th. They have scored 224 points, 13th in the NFL. They have allowed 213 points, 18th in the NFL. With a plus 11 point differential, a 5-4 record, they got a 31 point tie. Philadelphia Eagles, I don't know what's going to happen with them. This is an I don't know team, but they are they really should have kept Nick Foles. Ranked 13th, Pittsburgh Steelers. The next team uh, to not move anywhere. They have scored 193 points, 22nd in the NFL, and they've allowed 181 points, 7th in the NFL. With a plus 12 point difference on a 5-4 record, they got 29 points, and it's a tie. And well, yeah. The problem with the Steelers, as you can see, is, has mostly been the offense. The Seattle Seahawks, the two losses were on the defense. And they're ranked this low because of the defense. The Seattle Seahawks, they have the third best offense, scoring 275 points. But their defense is ranked 26, allowing 254 points, a plus 21 point differential, 82 record. 29 point tie. They're going to do well throughout the year, but they're not going to win the Super Bowl because their defense isn't good enough. You need a good defense to win it all. Yes, good offense can get you far, but you still need a good defense to win it all. Ranked 11th is the Buffalo Bills. They have 174 points, 25th in the NFL. They've allowed 150 points, 3rd in the NFL. They have a good defense. They're from tops. They got a good defense, but not a good offense. They have a 6 3 record and 28 points. So the Buffalo Bills have. It seems, it seems, uh, it seems almost like you get a really good offense, you've got a bad defense. You get a really good defense, you get a really bad offense. That seems to be most of these upper middle teams. Now we get to the top 10, and these are the teams that should be playoff bound. Now obviously there's going to be more, 4, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. There are a total of 12 teams going into the playoffs. So obviously there's going to be a couple teams not on here that's going to make the playoffs, but the top 10 should all be playoff bound teams. The New Orleans Saints falling down to 10th this week. They have scored 204 points, 18th in the NFL, and they've allowed 182 points tied for 8th in the NFL with a plus 22 point differential. They got a 7-2 record and a 26 point tie. Falling down to 9th are the Kansas City Chiefs. They have scored 284 points, second best in the NFL, and they have allowed 239 points, 24th in the NFL. With a plus 45 point differential and a 6 4 record, it's a 26 point tie. And yes, so far, yes, both of these teams are playoff bound teams. Ranked 8th, falling down to 8th, are the Green Bay Packers. Uh, this is another playoff bound team as of right now. They got state scored 250 points, 9th in the NFL. They've allowed 205 points, 17th in the NFL. A plus 45 point differential and a 2 record, 26 point tie. The Los Angeles Rams, another team, I this team could be playoff bound, but it's I don't think they are right now. Um, they moved up to 7th. They have scored 226 points, 11th in the NFL. They've allowed 191 points, 12th, tied for 12th in the NFL. A 35 point differential, a 5-4 record, 23 points. The Houston Texans right now are playoff bound. They have scored 238 points, 10th in the NFL. And they've allowed 191 points, tied for 12th in the NFL. Yes, the defense is the 12th ranked defense right now. And the offense is the 10th ranked offense. So the Texans look like a good team right now. But they're only ranked in the top 10. They're not in the top 5. Now, plus 47 points there for a 6-3 record, 22 points. Now, the top 5, at the end of the year... When the final people in top five are Super Bowl bound teams. These are teams that are most likely to make it to the Super Bowl. Fifth, falling down to fifth, the Minnesota Vikings. 262 points, fifth in the NFL. 182 points allowed, eight, tied for eighth in the NFL, plus 80 point differential and 7-3 record, 13 point tie. The 
the Cowboys, yes, I know I have them up here. But they're not going to do anything in the playoffs this year. Uh, they fall down to fourth. Uh, they have scored 251 points, eighth in the NFL. They've allowed 170 points, tied for fifth in the NFL. Uh, plus 81 point differential, 5-4 record, 13 point tie. Now we get to the top three, and the top three are going to be teams that should be your favorites to win the Super Bowl. These are the teams most likely to win the Super Bowl as of right now, and at the end of the year, these would be whatever teams are the top three, these would be my favorites for making it into the Super Bowl and winning it all. And third, the Browns, Baltimore Ravens. 300 points, the best offense right now. Scoring three, they've scored a total of 300 points this season. Okay, that's amazing. That's 30 points a game right now. Actually, they've played nine games, so you know, a little bit more than that, but a little bit more than 30 points a game. That's amazing. Now, they've allowed 189 points, but still, that's a top 10 defense right now. That's tight for 10. Plus 111 point differential, 7-2 record, 11 points. The silver, that still belongs to the San Francisco 49ers. They have the 7th best offense, scoring 259 points, and the 2nd best defense, allowing only 129 points. A plus 130 point differential, 8-1, 9 points. Now, which team gets the goal? The New England Patriots. They don't have the best offense anymore that's now the Ravens but they're still a top five offense they're ranked fourth 270 points what they do have that's still the top the defense they defense going into week 11 still hasn't even allowed a hundred points okay let that seek in They still even haven't allowed a hundred points. Going into week 11, they've only allowed 98 points. That's a great defense right there. A plus 172 point differential, 8-1 record, and 5 points. The Patriots should be your favorites to win the Super Bowl this year. As of, well, right now.